Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got an update in regards to the save data issues that a small minority of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet players were experiencing after the latest 1.2.0 update. Now, a few weeks ago, we put a video up on the channel. We put a couple of videos up on the channel in regards to this save data issue where players were experiencing losing all of their save data completely after updating to 1.2.0. This was something that no one still to this day knows really what was causing it it could have been the update itself it could have been something with receiving the zoroa or the dlc updates if you pre-ordered them it could have been the vivalon event that was happening between pokemon scarlet and violet compatibility with pokemon go who knows but there was a combination of things that were happening to a very small minority of people and of course everyone that plays the game was quite concerned about it P pokemon players don't have a cloud save data storage place where our saves are backed up once the save data is corrupted that is it you lose everything in your games and the thought of it is quite scary although it goes with saying that it is only happening or has happened to a very small minute amount of players so the chances of it happening to you are very remote but with that said we have had on the back of it an update announced for late april which is addressing the walking weight iron leaves issues that players were experiencing getting the bad egg with that and you would think with that update there will be some extra additional processes in there that will probably alleviate any issues going forward for players experiencing any of these save data issues but on the back of that if you have experienced the save data issues in your game and you've lost your save data there is a really interesting case over on twitter this was actually brought to my attention by blaine's the content creator who actually covered this already but i want to cover it as well so you as players know there is a route for recovering your save data there was a pokemon player over in japan over on twitter posted their experiences after experiencing their save data getting deleted in their games you can see here limbo 3 is their handle there Gas Scarlet save data was blown away. Why does it take so long to enter the poker portal? I thought I saved and restarted the software and this happened. I don't feel like I can fix it somehow. So this is initially when it happened. They were having issues getting into the poker portal and because of that they thought well let's save the game restart it and hopefully that'll resolve it. They saved their game, they restarted their game. When they restarted they were presented with this screen and that was their save data corrupted. Subsequently from this situation, they then went on to contact Nintendo support um, and then had their Switch sent off to Nintendo uh, to have a look at, hopefully to get a repair on the console itself to recover the save data. A couple of weeks later, after they sent their Switch to Nintendo, they received it back, unfortunately. The reported problem was not repaired, as you can see here. The Switch, which had been sent to repair due to problem with the save data for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet could not be recognized, was returned to me. Nothing has changed. There was also a statement in the statement that said that recommended deleting the save data and starting over from the beginning isn't it bad to have a different response from pokemon's customer service so i think there was a bit of conflicting information between nintendo customer service pokemon customer service to begin with this all gets resolved though in the end so don't worry about that i'm just telling the story here and as you can see they had the switch console returned and they still had the same issue with the uh, save date and not booting up and being corrupt on their switch this then led to further conversations with nintendo customer service as i say story continues they then contacted nintendo support and then surprisingly i was able to provide save data from home so nintendo support had asked for them to provide the save data from their console itself and he was able to do this from home he was able to do this going into the settings and doing things while on the phone to the customer service representative and it uploaded his save data to nintendo who then were trying to repair it and recover that save data lost so fast forward so this is the 16th of march a day after the console got returned fast forward two weeks later and you've got the conclusion here so i received a call from nintendo's customer service department and Scarlet's save data was successfully restored. It took about four weeks from the occurrence of the phenomenon, but the data came back. I hope that the same symptom will be restored. And if a new person who has the same phenomenon appears, 
it will be dealt with quickly and you can see here that there must be something obviously it is all in japanese so i can't really read it but from the story so far you're getting a picture of the save data it was transferred to nintendo they've recovered the save data they've then had a way for you to download it back onto your console from their servers uh you've updated the game uh, doing that and then you can see the end result here they can boot into their game and uh, they're able to access their save data again so it was recovered so real silver lining at the end of this that nintendo and pokemon are doing what they can to restore this save data it is done on a individual by individual basis of course nintendo aren't reaching out to players that are affected by this people are gonna if you are affected gonna have to contact nintendo uh, help desk uh, customer services to have this kind of help done in your games but this is a good example of where you're going to be able to contact them and have the save data recovered so you can get all of your pokemon uh, playthrough back which is really really encouraging so like i said there is an update coming at the end of april which you would imagine hopefully there is a fix so this is not an issue anymore but there is a way for you to get your save data back and i think as i said this is an update that's just going to be about more awareness about if you have been affected by it or if you are affected by it in the future this is a route that you can go down and it isn't the end of the line if your save data gets deleted you can go to nintendo and they hopefully will have ways for you to be able to recover it so like i say silver linings quick update video we've been covering the story so this is why i wanted to put this video up today to let you know of this situation and a massive thank you to lindo3 who actually shared their whole journey through the start of losing their save data and then eventually getting it back and uh, good work and big props to nintendo and pokemon for obviously working with them to recover that save data that is for a lot of players quite an important thing because i know myself if i lost mine i would be devastated so knowing that in the back of my mind if it does happen there is a potential route to get it back it makes me feel a bit better about going online which i hope it makes you all feel a little bit better about going into your games online and doing things normally in game without having the worry about losing that save data because this is a route where we can obviously go down and uh, have things fixed and hopefully come the end of april with that new update it won't be an issue anymore so i hope you've enjoyed the update friends if you have as always please subscribe to the channel stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content do drop a like as well because it really does help the channel out and i will see you all in another video very soon leave your comments let me know what you think about this down below till next time friends take care of yourselves and bye bye